Hello everyone, we are learning about features of living things. In that we have seen living things grow, living things need food and water and living things feed and dead. Now in today's period we are going to learn about living things breathe and living things move. Okay, so first we start with living thing breathe. Before that, just hold your breath. Is it possible to hold your breath for a longer time? No, because we need breath to live. Like us, animals like cat, dog, lion, tiger, they breathe through their lungs. Their lungs helps them to breathe. But all living things does not have lungs. Then insects like cockroaches, grasshopper, mosquitoes, they are having air holes on their bodies. And through that air holes they breathe. Fishes breathe through their gills. Oxygen which is dissolved in water, they breathe through their gills. But have you seen plants are breathing like us, like fish, like other insects? No. Plants breathe through the tiny holes on their leaves that are called as stomata. These air holes are very small so that we cannot see with our naked eyes okay so with the help of microscope we can see the pores or the small holes on leaves which through plants breathe if you have a dog and just hold the nose of your dog is it going to react no because non-living things do not now the next feature is living things move. Human beings and some animals are moving with the help of their legs. And why animals move? They move in a search of food and in a search of shelter or to run away from their enemies. Different animals move in a different ways. Humans means we, animals like cat, dog, tiger, lion, they move with their legs. Birds and insects fly with the help of wings and fishes swim with fins. So these living things are showing some movement. These animals are having some body organs which help them to move from one place to another place. But like us, like other animals, plants are moving. Not exactly plants are moving from one place to another place, but they show the little movement. You will see the growth of plants. You will see the tree, the roots are going inside the soil in a search of water and minerals. Also their branches are growing, yeah, means they show the little movement. Also we have seen a touch me not plant, if you touch the leaves of these plants, suddenly it closes its leaves, yes. You will see the sunflower, it always turns towards the sun. And do you know about the lotus? Lotus flower opens in the morning and closes at night. So some plants are showing a little movement because they are living things. Okay? Does your doll or your toys are moving by their own? No, because they are non-living things. Understood? So what we have learned today? We have learned two features of living things that are 
living things breathe and living things move okay now i'll give you the words that numbers you have to copy in your notebook also find formulation and underline them okay number 1 breathe number 2 lungs number 3 gills number 4 stomata number 5 Beans. And number six, fins. Okay. Now see on page number thirty-two, multiple choice questions are given there that you have to solve by your own. Okay. And read the lesson. 